Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for the fire sign. This is the full moon reading for the month of April. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibrations for you, fire sign. I want to say, um, I, 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 I can't apologize um, enough, uh, um, but um, things are coming back to normal. I think I was one of those persons that the three blood moon shift my world up totally, you guys. So, welcome back. Okay, you fire sign. All right, let's see what's happening. Now, the central is the liberant, so obviously there is ju just going to be justice happening for some of you, okay? Some of you, especially um, the um, Sagittarians, justice prevail for you. It could be justice over a liberant person, definitely. It could be justice over a liberant person, whoever or wh however it affects you guys. But definitely, this is a period and this month is a month where there is going to be justice that is going to be coming in. And it could be a legal issue that you're going to be winning big, okay? So... Remember that the fires and people, a lot of you are going to be having some luck with the Sagittarians. Sagittarians could be affecting you guys in your lives. Sagittarians always bring other people a lot of um, positive energy and luck. Now, we're seeing that um, the sun sign people, first we're going to be looking at the sun sign people, and you guys are going to be dealing with the energies of the Cancers and the energy of neptune and um mercury and i'm seeing this energy comes coming up for um the air zodiac sign and the fire and the air are very good people together so if you're looking for a relationship um you fire signs look towards the air signs not all of you fire sign if you're cop people there are different um areas that you can um look towards okay so i should do um, a reading about that for you guys but you some people people but that was born 12 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. what we're seeing and what we're seeing transpiring is that you're going to be have to deal with the cancers and and the cancers could be teaching you guys to be psychic or listen to your psychic energy or use your psychic however way these cancers are coming in mercury is also coming in where you're going to be learn how to use the energy of um you're going to be definitely learning to use the energy of manifesting so whatever is in the thoughts is in the mind you bring it in in reality and that is going to be god so wonderful um wonderful energies and situation um you have um the fire sign people are going to be dealing with neptune which is the unseen world and um, your spirit guides and um the rest of you um mercury is here um and you know that is a two planets and one person to deal with which is um the cancer with neptune is all about your intuition and that sort of a thing now we are dealing with virgos the virgos are coming up so you guys are going to be dealing with virgos and it could be a legal issue between you and a virgo and you're going to be winning okay um then we have the energy of pluto and so we have a lot of planetary um aspect the fire signs are dealing with a lot of planetary axes you're dealing with uh, so many planetary actions and if you notice the two persons are opposite each other is the virgos and the cancers that you guys as people you're that you're going to be dealing with but the rest of the time is that you're dealing with pluto neptune with um pluto neptune so um 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 and Stargos, which is saturn and mercury because these are the goddess of the planets okay so this is all that you ha are dealing with at this moment so um let's go and look um and see what is happening for you guys who are dealing with um neptune and mercury um for the aries neptune and mercury for the aries mercury we're looking at mercury um for the aries and you know this is um one of those times that you aries assert your point of view but don't bully okay so you aries needs to assert your point of view but don't bully and you aries have a way of bullying and that's why people do not like you really okay 
um bully when bullies if you notice bullies um people don't like a bullies the leaders are going to be speaking uh, from a sense of nobility and authority so the leaders are going to be really speaking from a sense of nobility and authority which is very good sagittarians and ovuses you are going to be um channeling your um, reckless energies towards a goal and this is going to be good so that's why the Sagittarius are here they're up and they're 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 here very very powerful okay as we look at Neptune Neptune is one of those planets whenever Neptune comes up it's actually very good and it's not that bad but first we're going to be looking at such um the Saturnus Saturnus the Aries impatient can lead to recklessness so you Aries, there. This this is not a positive full moon for you guys because um, in yeah, impatient can lead to recklessness. So you know, be aware. It is time to set step into your full mastery. So you Leos, it is time to step in your full mastery, and you're going to be mastering anything that you put yourself to. Sagittarius, your goals need your full attention now. So you, Sagittarius, whatever your goal is, whatever that you are focusing on, whatever that you wanted to build in your life, it's going to need your full attention. So you have to be aware of that, okay? So whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening, you need to be um, aware that it, your goals is going to be needing your full attention because it's obviously um, that you're losing out on things that you could be having. Now, whenever Pluto comes in, people, you you guys have heard my moon readings that Pluto, Pluto and Uranus have this effect, okay? For Pluto, release the past, a new cycle is beginning. So you Aries, and I've seen this in the reading before because I've done your readings already, but I couldn't um, upload them because of whatever um, the situation is. And um, again, you Leos are going to be released out of a situation. So um, you could be leaving your work. There is going to be a huge um, forundering um, in your world, you Aries. Okay. So Pluto is coming and Pluto is going to, and we're going to be looking at that. So Leos, what's happening to the Leos with Pluto and the Leos? Be aware of creating drama in times of change. So you, Leos, be aware of creating time, um, drama in time of change. Be aware of that, okay? And you, Sagittarians, journey to a place where you will be reborn, okay? So I'm loving this for you guys. Whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring, it's about renewal. It's about transformation. So let's call in the chakra, the angels of the chakras. So Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Michael. Uh, Archangel Metatron is the most powerful chakra energy. So call up an Archangel Metatron, ask them to put the orange coat over you, okay? So, um, revenge. Perse perseverance. Some of you are going to have perseverance and bittersweet, okay? Perseverance and bittersweet. So some of you could be having some bittersweet situation from a cancer. But persevere onwards. And um, whatever the situation is, the bittersweet situation with a cancer, some of you are dealing with a cancer and you're going to be having some bittersweet situation. Now, service, um, Neptune is going to be helping you uh, with service. So if you are a channeler or that sort of a thing, or you work in the medicine industry, that sort of a thing, service is going to be performly good for you, service. Then we have Mercury, and Mercury, it's all about creation. So it's manifestation. So you guys are going, your manifestation is going to be very, very high in this full moon from the 15th of April until the 15th of May. So um, it is going to be very, very um, positive. Now, um, Saturnus, which is Saturn, the planet of Saturn, Saturnus, forgiveness. Forgiveness is coming up. So whatever the situation is, Saturnus is going to be asking some of you to forgive, forgive a situation. Forgiveness is going to be the key to forgive a situation, okay? Um, um, Pluto is here. Let's see what Pluto is having the effect on 
the fire sign people what um, is Pluto destiny so there was a situation that is going to be happening for you guys that was destined to happen so whatever end is coming in the end was destined to happen and you can't fight against this ending whatever it is you fire sign it was destined to happen the Virgos what is happening with the Virgos for the fire sign people so if you have a Virgo in your life what to expect there is definitely healing okay the Virgos is going to be confusion so some Virgos are going to be bringing in some confusion in your lives okay some of you Sagittarians might be dealing with some guilt and um, release is uh, release the guilt okay so it's as if that some of you stand up stand up for yourself stand up on your own and stand up for yourself and something is being released or removed away from you and you're having some guilt and you Sagittarius don't have any guilt over anything it was meant to be whatever the situation is do not have any guilt over nothing it was meant to be it was a destined cause okay so Pluto is always removing people's situations away from you and it was destined that this happens now it could be that some of you are really going to need to find forgiveness forgiveness is going to be the key and it's going to be um, from the first until um, the 15th of May that you're really going to be finding forgiveness with a situation some of you Sagittarius are going to have some guilt don't have any guilt um, whatever has happened it should have happened it must happen um, you know let it go whatever the transition is and whatever guilt that you're all in persevere on and there is going to be a lot of confusion because a Virgo is going to be um, um, a, a Virgo is really going to be bringing some confusion in 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 the world and um, you are going to be persevering on whatever the confusion is whatever the situation is uh, whatever confusion that this Virgo is going to be bringing in you're going to be pushing through um, that sense of energy and uh, you know you know whoever you are and depends if it's a situation where you see that injustice was taken against you and you stood up for yourself there is no need to be um, guilty over the situation okay so whatever way and however way it affects you guys there is nothing to be guilty over whenever we stand up for our rights people don't really like it but uh, um, that's how the cookie is you, people can't expect to stamp over you and stamp their feet over you and make sure um, there is a legal situation um, the energy of perseverance is here it could be for people who are dealing with a Virgo for the cancers it's going to be a bittersweet situation for the cancers especially if you're dealing with cancer people it's going to be a bit a bittersweet situation but do not have any guilt um, in this period let go of the guilt okay whatever needs to happen needs to happen because it was destined to happen forgiveness is going to be the key and we need to find out who do we need to forgive because Sagittarius um, uh, Saturnus is coming in and uh, um, saying forgiveness and that is the Capricorns eight of swords seeing a situation seven of one standing your ground against the knight of one so some of you or you could be the person because you're the, the the fire sign that some of you need to find forgiveness for a situation that has done against you forgiveness is going to be the key all right ladies and gentlemen for the extended of this reading please please um um, connect with us using the link below and it will take you to the on demand where you can have another hour of this extended full moon reading um, namaste until next time